to the arena of the supernatural where supernatural is always natural thank you good people we love you we thank you for watching our program i know you are blessed and you couldn't watch it if you wanna if you happen to trip in a mistake please don't move the dial just watch you're gonna be blessed tonight and god is going to do wonders for you you're gonna be blessed i'm telling you god is a great god thank you people you came out in numbers yesterday wow god is a great god you are always faithful some of you you've been there from the beginning until now god is doing wonders thank you for your support and for your love for telling us how much god has loved you how much god has blessed you through this program i'm telling you on the month of november you will see how many people who have testified and told us i'm telling you you're gonna see them how deliverance academy has helped them throughout this year i'm telling you God is a great God who changes people's life and is changing your life. I'm telling you, God is a God of wonders. What we are looking up to now, we are looking to a conference from Women's Conference. My wife will be hosting that conference from the 25th, 26th, and the 27th. And it will be a great conference at Dube Village Mall, Ego Mkulu. Yes, I know you're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed. Your life will never be the same again. It will be transformed. It will be changed. Yeah, we know there are so many things that have happened in our country throughout. Things that will be happening. Things that were happening on our daughters, our wives, our women. You see, our brothers, our aunts, and our grannies. So those things, uh, our hearts have been broken, but we are still praying that the justice will take its course and our prayers will change people's life, not to be cruel anymore. Yeah, it is our prayer and things will be happening. May God bless you. And we are praying for Africa to be united. And also, and I'm praying also uh, to see you on the 2nd of November in uh, Talagatli uh, uh, Hall. And uh, please, I want to see you there on the second. Nzobenghamba Nobabu Bishop Espim Song, my father. And things will be happening. We've got a message for Great Town. We've got a message. And you will never be the same again. <laughs> I'm telling you, Great Town, you'll never be the same again. It's an invasion for summer fall. My father, Africa will be saved. And see you. And my contact details are on the screen. Contact the bishop. Contact. And I'm telling you, in Biliaku will never be the same again. See you at Great Town on Mlagatu, November. I want to see you there. I want to see you there. See you there. See you there. I know you always watch this program, but I want to see you there. Puman Gobningi Beno. Lily Pass was a bullborn. May God bless you. I, uh, let's be blessed be, by this program that is coming right now. I show you. Can I say this, things. most people. Baya tan ukfuna uktola intabange nayo, basule ukseben zisintabanayo. Most people want to get what they don't have, failing to use what they have. Kulumana. Speak to me. 
I'm clean the fruit. Abantu abaningi. Most people. Baya tanda. They love. Baya tanda. They love it. Isn't abangenas. Things that they don't but have. But who lego enjoy isn't abanas. Failing to enjoy what they have. Yes, learn to ebiza ngan. See what I call that? Ebiza ngokha. I call it greed. Even what you have, are we enjoying? You're not enjoying, but you're looking for something else when, that you're telling you yourself enjoy. you're gonna enjoy. Even the cell phone that you have, you cannot use it to its full capacity. capacity. But you want the one that I have. I can surprise you. And make you do things you You're busy wishing for my one. Only if God had made that child to be mine, my ones are not good enough. Do you know You know that there are people who wish that your children would be would be theirs and they would be doing so much things with them. We have taught ourselves not to receive what you've been given. Appreciate. We don't appreciate what God has given us. Okay, Let me make an example. I'm here to help you out so that you start where you are. What are you going to do? Start where you are. Do you know what's about you know that most people, they don't, like, they don't like the way they are. They only wish the other way that other people yes, are. I am stuck in complexion. I, only I, yes, I, I am big boned only if it was slimmer. And the thin one would say only if I was a little bit bigger. Um, People uh, fail to receive and uh, receive what they have. Who taught you to be like that? Dile nfileka, I didn't mean to make you feel bad, but I want you to know how bad you are. <laughs> Because God, what he has a problem with is that you don't, you, don't, you don't appreciate what he has given you. You're only wishing for what he has not given you. You want other people's body. You choice. Why don't you appreciate the body that you have? It is yours. You will it'll be yours forever. You will never have my body. You fast forty days and forty nights. No matter how many times you fast. Even you can speak. Even you can speak. Never have my no body. No working. Because I know I'll never have it. Can I tell you something? People has, God has a problem with people who say that he made a mistake by creating them the way he has. The way you live. You say God has made a mistake. By creating you to be like this. Yes, the paragraph You see, in among us, we are banding. We are banding to eighty percent, no more ninety percent, no more ninety-five percent. We are banding to unkulu unkulu and zipu. We are going to get Eighty to ninety-five percent. People here. Even the ones that you say you wish to be like them, they say God is not interview. Even the ones that you say you wish to be like them, they say God is not 
I've, inter I've interviewed beautiful people and they said they had a problem because they had a low I thought it was a problem. Even the beautiful one wants to be ugly. So that they won't be in the spotlight. It is worrying them. Everyone is a but the other one who is not so not a lot speaks to them. Trying to to help I want to I want to so that you'll be able to receive what God has given you. Just think about it. Short as she is, and her foot is not as straight. But just look at her standing in front of us, releasing what she has been given. He's not shy. He stands with her foot just like this. Worship the heavens. Worship the heavens. She does not care what you do. Because there's nothing just to crash the heavens. Just to crash the beautiful you don't have. I'm not here to massage you. I'm here to work on your mind so that you'll be able to see. A human being has been taught not to be content. Hear me. A human, human being is taught not to be content. They're never content. They say, I'm dark let me, let me try and bleach myself. <laughs> Thought they were clothes that were bleached. You see a person that used to be dark. You want to look like a white person. You can see that those ones used to try. Never pointed at anyone. Stop looking around. They're trying to look like white people. Who said that the dark person is ugly? To hear me say, hear what I'm saying. To hear what I'm saying. What I want you to know today is to be thankful for what God has given you. What has God given you? Let me stress this out. If you cannot appreciate what God has given you, how is he going to give you more of what you need? You're busy looking for better things. I want my mention. Mention. That I'm going to stay in. Can't even clean up your you haven't even, even made out your yard. When you Everything is in the yard. On top of the table, there matchsticks. But you're looking for a mention. I will just tell you that you're not going there while you still have this. It's promotion. Pro for you to go where you need to go. Look after and enjoy where you are. I'm puzzled at how the person I really am surprised the way people think. Let me say this again. If you're not enjoying poverty right now, you'll never go to good life. Telling you the truth. Come closer to you. 
Ngithi mina I am saying to you Umlo enjoy umjondolo If you not enjoy the one room house that is for a mansion forget about the mansion that you want If you must enjoy skorokoro hamba ngasho If you not enjoying that old ragged car that you driving Khohlwa forget Ile ya moto yu nyanyavu about that beautiful car if we don't respect the family, forget that rich family. Because you're not ready. If you haven't enjoyed poverty, that you're going through right now, forget that you're going to go to the good life. Let me tell you straight. Let me not beat about the bush. You see right now? I say Let's say you poor. Enjoy you bump off. Enjoy that poverty. enjoy For if you don't want to, you want to live the life that you want. You you're gonna be drowning in. be drowning in. You're going to be looking for a 2,000 and 200. And you would wear a 200 rand one. Or just sort your own hair out. I'm talking. Looking for a 10,000 rand phone. And you would just you what emails. For you don't need no emails. You are living through debt so that you'll be look, you will look e good to other people. In your poverty, you are drowning in debt. How do you drown in debt in a poor life? <laughs> Staying in the church. Shalak forum. In the forum. Shalak to room. Go to say equality. You're in such debt. How? Ngoba na na manzo wakokela. For even the water that you pay for, it's maybe it's two hundred rand. Go to sense when it's expensive. But you're making yourself. Ngoba mkatoni bona galugu chwa zwa bizu mundo. You're walking on the road. Can't equate to zero dollars in Hamburg. Only debt that is walking. Usha makel. People will be whistling. Usha wali skole. Whistling to a debt. You don't have truth about yourself. <laughs> we are not truthful about ourselves. You cannot just get longer qualify We are not qualifying. You're trying to look good to your friends, that you're living a good life. But, but when they want to come to your house, house they can't. We have a vim. You try to block them. Because the life that you portray to them is not the life that you live at home. Why are you doing such a bad thing? You are why he made you so. And others go and make a huge debt at Virgin Active, hence they can just leave bricks behind the yard. The man they should be saving. Running on the road with everything. Trying to portray trying to portray how good a life they're living, hence they are sinking in debt. You want people to see you as the person who has And then you're ruining yourself. 
You can go and run by the grounds and then you lose the same calories. This money would help you to pay off something that would help in the house. Trying to help my people. Trying to leave a far Thinking that they're living a good life, hence they're not enjoying it. Living a life of fake life. Why are you living where you're not? end up looking for places. For you trying to show off that you have a good life, hence you are getting finished on the other side. <laughs> Help us, Lord Jesus. Lord of people are living fake lives. Fake people. People must just know that you're walking on foot. They must know that you are riding that bike. They must know that you are riding that bike. Don't pretend as if you have money so, so that I won't be able to say you. you will lose out through that. Are you faithful in the little things? Will be faithful in bigger things. Are you faithful in the life that you're living right now? Are you going to be put in a better life? For you are not living the real life. Most people are stagnant where they are. It cannot be promoted. For they're not living in that life. Can I ask you something? How long are you going to live this way of life? Living for people. Go and borrow. Because you want to be seen. Guys are much better. But the ladies. I'm not saying they're not doing it. I say they're a little bit better. They can wear their torn jeans. Their t-shirts. But the ladies. The hats alone. The shoe. Dress. And they need to change bags. <laughs> Help us, Lord. We live for other people in such a way that Jesus cannot help use us. Oh, Baba. Oh, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Again, no shoranjal. Always, woman, you shoranjal. It's not him who is saying that. He had someone else saying that. When you, when I I greet greet you. Man, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Never heard you saying that. Man, you're a father, like you're oh, you oh, you can never say it like I'm that. I would be puzzled. But what do you do before God? What do you do before God? Do you come as you before God? You come as another person. I am helping somebody today.
Noma we are Nigel. Even when you give me, you don't want to give me, but you, have, you want to impress people. Thank you very much. I hope you are blessed by that program. Before I pray for you, I want to remind you, Ugo team, 25, 26, and 27, there will be a women's conference and also Mshaka 2, the November, a great town in Tlalagahle. I want to see you there. I want to see you. You always watch this program, but I want to see you there. Nzobamba no Bishop Espimsom, my father, my daddy, Bishop Espimsom, Mshaka 2. November, Tlalagahle Hall. Meet you there. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak life. I speak the blessing. I speak the healing and deliverance. And I release the blessing of the Lord. That makes everyone rich in Jesus' mighty name. I speak life. I say shalom. I say keris. I say barak. I say Sophia. In the mighty name of Jesus. See you next time. May God bless you. Keep on supporting this program. Visit my website for any material you want. Even what I'm wearing right now, you can find it on my web, web, web website. Order it and it's going to be delivered on your doorstep. We've got our delivering company. It's going to bring it there into your house. May God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.